Welcome to my mid-October unboxing video. We, just, we started this outside and it just, <laughs> whoever thinks that we could just throw these together, uh, we don't because we care about the lighting and the positioning and all that stuff. We always end up here, which I love. I love being right here, but we were trying to mix it up a little bit, but here we are. Now, all my friends who have sent me all these wonderful things over the last few weeks, uh, I thank you in advance and let's get moving. So we're gonna start with this one and this is from our friend Tomas, Edwood Society. He, he just went to see the Devon, well, the John Waters exhibit at the Academy Museum, which was, um, well, sadly, divine lock, lacking. Warning, not for the faint-hearted. Recorded by RCA Victor. Rigor mortis is stiffening. It's a very <laughs> laugh in. Oh, look at it, it's us. Oh my gosh. Wanted for tiki bar and kitsch overload. Handle with a stiff margarita. Dr. Benton Quest and Race Bannon. Heavy <laughs> cucumber fetish. They love to get pickled. Package and wrapped by J. Fred Moggs by an NBC executive. Always something to look, my, my people at my mailbox love this stuff. So uh, let's get moving on this. Pull tab to open. Make sure, yeah, not gonna miss anything. Okay. Bubble wrap, which people think is easy to open up. Oh, evil serial killer, some light reading. <laughs> I'll bet you the sunset strip. Oh, look at there's Ian and Myra and uh, Eileen. Is that, who is that, Richard Speck? I can't tell. I think it's Richard Speck, no. Can't tell. Yeah. Oh, this looks interesting, the Chicago Rippers. Ramirez, Maniacal, Eileen Warnos. Or who, as Troy likes to, <laughs> that's what he always calls Mary Warnoff. <laughs> Mary Warnos. The Wests, Starkweather. Huh, thank you, this is, this is cool. This is, I mean, it's not cool, but it is. Bell Gunness. Wow, nobody knows Bell Gunness. That's uh, my, that's like Laporte, Indiana. That's my friend uh, Bun, who uh, grew up there. She took me to one of the victims of Bell Gunness. Huh. Cool. Always in education. And a DVD. Guys and Dolls. Marlon Brando, Gene Simmons, Frank Sinatra, and Vivian Blaine. Cool. Thank you. Very cool. Now, my friends, Annette and Aid, who took uh, hired me to give them a private tour fairly recently, brought this along. And I kind of peek a bit, but I asked them if I could put it back in the tube and bring it out for an unboxing video. And they brought this all the way from Britain. And look at that. Jay Mansfield is Isa Miranda, that is Miranda. This is a real, this is a cool, this is a, a an original, an original poster. Very cool. It is very cool. Looks like it was uh, printed in Brussels. Huh. Very cool, thank you, thank you guys. That was so much fun that day we went, uh, we went out did everything. We did Gary Hinman and the Spawn Ranch and just about everything. Once upon a time in Hollywood. That was a cool day. And I got some cards too. This is from lovely, terrific Terry. We use the LaBianca. Terrific Terry Bolo, who was in Carrie, R.I.P. Piper Laurie. Isn't it something about Suzanne Summers? We just that was just announced like a couple hours ago. So Terry, terrific, there. just got in Troy. I hope it's spooky, hope it's scary, hope it's extraordinary. Happy spooky season, love Terry XO. We love Terry Bolo. Thank you, terrific Terry. Very nice. And this is from Shannon. Shannon Bailey. Another Halloween. Oh, look. 
Kentucky Fried Sauerkraut. <laughs> that's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, that's funny. I would try that. <laughs> you would too. Hope all is well. I thought you might like this KFS sticker. I also hope you get this card. Of course I do. It's not just look up the Zodiac Killer Halloween card. Oh, okay. That's the card itself. Zodiac Killer Halloween card. I'll have to look that up. Thank you, Shannon. Oh, oh it's a piece of candy corn. Thank you. And this is from a gentleman who actually, from Waxahachie, which I've been to. Troy and I have been to. That's where they have the Munster's house. And uh, if you're ever out, check out my way, check Waxahachie, Texas. We have uh, several places that you could investigate. Lots of movies were filmed out here. Um, and he sent me some vintage photo or, uh, postcards from Waxahachie. And thank you, Greg. Greg, good day. Greg, good day. Great A day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is from post April 6th YouTube. Here are two postcards I had forgotten in the shipment to the previous one. I hope you and Troy will treasure these rare postcards. My YouTube channel has now 36 videos and five other videos I've created previous to the forming post April 6th channel. I hope Dilly Departed continues to grow. Matt Chipman. Thanks, Matt Chipman, in advance. Let's see what these lovely saran wrap gifties look like. Oh my god. Fingers. This must be that Costco brand saran wrap. <laughs> That's industrial. And each roll lasts like five years, if even more. Uh, let's see. This is from Battle Monument, Bennington, Vermont. And this is a monument erected in honor of Captain Samuel Robinson, Bennington, Vermont. Thank you. Thank you very much, Matt. That's very kind of you. Uh, let's see. Now, this is from... Oh, I'm expecting this one, actually. This is from uh, Bob Hayes. He says he just sent this, and he forgot to include a note. So Bob Hayes sent this. And let's see. Let's use the Marlene. Hey, Marlene. Hope you're well. Hope you're doing well. Marlene. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect for this time of year. Bubble wrap. TV bath. Okay, cool. Farah. Is that Suzanne Summers? Yeah. That's what we were just talking about her. How many, how many seconds ago? Yeah. Oh, look at this. A laugh in 1969 album. Oh. Very cool. And a promo album at that. Very rare. Plastic hippies have no bippies. Hey, cool. Thank you. This is really cool. Silicone is a bust. Rearm Venus de Milo. Thank you. Look forward to going into this. I'm going to do a video at some point soon on Hollywood Babylon. Oh, this talks about Robert Reed before he passed away. Before he passed away. Paul Lind died before outing was in vogue. The two macho action stars. Da -da -da. Apple's way. Christy McNichol. But, uh, going Christy's lesbian lifestyle was not an especially well kept secret. Lesbian. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very cool. I appreciate that, Bob. Oh, another uh, fragile. This is from Margaret. We love Margaret. Margaret, uh, our old auction friend. From Julian's, who now hooked us up with some Dennis Hopper stuff, uh, who handled that auction too. And Margaret said she was going to send something. I'm very curious as to what this is. <laughs> oh, that's terrible.
Scott, this was Robert Evans' note card. See address on the back of the envelope. Found this on my travels. Had a, had access my fourth grade brain. Then thought of you, Margaret Barrett. P.S. Hi to Troy. This is uh, so. This, this is Robert Evans' note card. See the address in the back of the envelope. Oh, it's embossed. I can't read it. I have to, it's. Oh yeah, it says Robert Evans. <laughs> uh, open me. Okay. Oh, micro, micro opening. I like to use a sharper knife. Always cut towards you. Oh, okay, there's that. This reminds me of one of those plastic rain bonnets. We might be fast forwarding through this part. <laughs> LXIX, please tell me what do you oh, know? I'm, I'm I'm like blanking on this. Is it? No. I don't. Yes. Because L is 50, X is 10, and I, X is 9. 1969. I'm glad that Troy is here to, <laughs> to explain this to me because I'm completely stupid. Thank you, Margaret. I didn't know this. Found this on my travels. Had to access my fourth grade brain. Now I get what you meant because that's when we learned Roman numerals, and I never retained that. And that's cool. Thank you. This is in a Robert Evans note card to boot. Cool. Thank you, Margaret. Sorry for my uh, my idiot brain. My foolish brain. Now this comes from Jen, Jennifer Robert. Oh, Jennifer sent us things before. Very nice, Jennifer. I think that was 1969. We'll say it, we'll say it was. <laughs> well, I think it's just 69. Not 19, but I'm, I'm sure that's the reference. She's not just saying the pen is a 69. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's exactly it. <laughs> okay, Jim. Ooh, bio on Jimmy. Jimmy. His plight against authority sparked a revolution of revolt for the youth of the 50s America and forever cemented his reputation as the ultimate teenage rebel, even though he wasn't a teenager when he made his movies. Oh, look at it. It's Little Girl Blue, The Life of Karen Carpenter. This is cool. Oh, poor Karen. Thank you, Jen. You're very kind. Those wigs. Those wigs she had to wear. What? What? Her mother was her stage designer at the beginning. And her mother's hairdresser was brought on tour. <laughs> Poor Karen. But that. That's awesome. They're very cool. Thank you, Jen. I love these. Thank you. Very cool. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, this is from Neil, our friend Neil in England. And let's use Gary. I, I give you guys a lot of credit for your packing skills, really. Really, especially this made it over the entire ocean and the entire country. Unless they went by way of feet. <laughs> All right, oh look it. It's for our tiki bar. This is very cool. Oh, how neat is that? Personalized. It's personalized. Look at that. That is so cool, Neil, thank you. Wow. Neil, you got it wrong. 
It's supposed to be Troy and Scott's Tiki Bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how nice. How nice, Neil. You're so kind and generous. Those, uh, you sent those cool Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And um, oh, there's a note in here. Uh, here's a gift for you both, and I hope a smart addition to your tiki bar. As soon as I saw it and I was able to personalize the sign, I thought immediately of you and Troy. Please enjoy, Neil. Thank you, Neil. Thank you. How nice. We love that. And we love our tiki bar. Let's see, Tomas has got another, another batch of goodies here. Government shutdown is so stupid. Al Alfred E. Newman, 192 bus 3000 there's a reference i don't know <laughs> superficial oh super super califragilistic border borders books remember borders books mm -hmm. and tab Avoid one dollar charge, please rewind. Remember that, my gosh. Uh, let's see, is he marked? I can't tell what that says. But should the, should the front, does it matter? Mortimer Snurt is a dumb. <laughs> it's very laughing. <laughs> let's see, I think I'll have to be a little bit more careful here. Cause I don't want to bust what's inside. It's possible. My friend Patrick sent these, these opening tools. Okay, another batch of goodies. VHS tapes, hairspray, and I confess with Monty Clift and Ann Baxter. That's again the John Waters thing. We were just at that. They had a ton of hairspray stuff on display, costumes and stuff like that. Very cool. And they had, I can't know, I don't know if it's that was the real wig that Debbie Harry wore that was there, but um, there was a Debbie Harry costume on display. Thank you. These are cool. Before the Devil Knows You're Dead, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Ethan Hawke, Marissa Tomei, and Albert Finney. This is a movie. Do you know this movie, Troy? No. Dynamite film that ranks with the year's best. Master filmmaker scores big with his absorbing suspense thriller Oscar winner Seymour Hoffman is Andy, an overextended payroll executive who lures his younger brother, Hank, into a larcenous scheme. The pair will rob a suburban mom and pop jewelry store that appears to be the quintessential e easy target. Okay, that looks interesting. Ed Wood, look at that. Love Ed Wood, Glenn or Glenda, and Dolores Fuller, and Bela, Bela, and Ed Wood. Oh, this is the Ed Wood, Ed Wood. This is Johnny Depp. I love that movie so much. I would say there's two movies about Hollywood that you should get and watch. Ed Wood is one of them, and Sunset Boulevard is the other. And I love Glenn or Glenda. Those are cool. Those are cool. Queer as folk. Oh, this is the, uh, I don't, you know, I never watched the American version of this. Okay, I have to look that up. <laughs> I don't speak uh, Espanol. Um, Sharon, oh, we did just see Sharon Glass recently, who went to school with Abigail Folger and was roommates with Abigail Folger. But I watched the British one. I never saw the uh, the American one. But it was really pretty uh, innovative. It was pretty, pretty graphic, too. It was shocking when it came out in the '90s, early mid '90s, mid to late. It was good.
All right, I have to get out the Joanne for this one. This thing is sharper than anything. The <laughs> Jackson's Christmas albums. I love Christmas records. I didn't know the Jackson's had one. Connie Francis. Love Christmas records. Jerry Vale. John Davidson. Diane Carroll. That's unusual. Steve Lawrence. Robert Goulet. Celia Nose. Tony Bennett. And Barbara. And Dinah Short on Sesame Streets. Dinah pays a visit to Sesame Street. Huh. <laughs> Very cool. Always entertaining, Tomas. We will certainly delve into these, but I love Christmas records. I have tons of them. And uh, we never listen to the same one twice, and we always listen to Christmas music at Christmas time. So, thank you. And this is uh, another post April 6th YouTube channel. Should be using this one again. Look at that. Like butter. Oh, so I think the postcards earlier were a post this. And let's see. Here are four presents for you guys that think you'll like the books I am sending. I'm not going to read that until I open because I want to be. Oh, look at that. Troy's got gifts. To Scott, to Scott, to Troy, to Troy. And Troy will get on camera to open them, won't you? <laughs> he loves being on camera. <laughs> A handkerchief, okay. All right. And a book. Recipe for murder, Agatha Christie, murder after hours. Uh, for, featuring HQ Poirot, perfectly foul French upstart, Belgian upstart. Uh, okay, here are four presents. I enjoy seeing you open up presents in your mystery unboxing. I hope this package opened number 34 or 35. And please, please mention my YouTube channel. Uh, I will, a post April 6th. With what are you doing and the fundraising for the late Mishu's remains? He's going to be buried at um, the Valhalla Cemetery, and that will hopefully be in early January. Um, but I'm working at the cemetery now, and we just have to finish the fundraising, which is very close to being completed. Very close. I think we're like 96% funded. Look at this is for you, Troy. Another N or M? M. Wrong. <laughs> Guess of evil. I know them. Oh, well, this will keep us busy for afternoons. And while we're reading those books, we can blow our noses in our brand new handkerchiefs. That's for you. <laughs> Very nice. Post April 6th on YouTube. And lastly, Tomas wants more. With more artwork. Palm Springs. No nachos or fish chips. Fish and chips. Taco Ole. RKO. More media stuff. Incredibilis. Incredibilis. Quam gloriosus soup electum and glorious Latin. Salve. Okay. Bottoms up. We just discuss e libros. For best results, drink. And bottoms up. UL approved. Okay. Let's see. I think by side I'll do this. Oops. 
Troy would kill me if I jacked up this table. And that's a very, a very me thing to do. You just, that was, oh my god, you burst. I'm like sweating. <laughs> All right. Monica lovers. Oh, to movie lovers. <laughs> oh, Monica. <laughs> to movie lovers. Oh my God, the first person I thought of was Monica Lewinsky. Oh. Like, mm, she got a kiss. <laughs> a wet one. <laughs> yes, she did. Oh, there's Jimmy and Donna. The other Jimmy. Let's see, Ricky. Oh, this is a cool book. Thank you. And he gives you this. Please open the door, please. I want you to stay away from me. He breaks you the door. I know what you want me to do, but I ain't going to do it, so forget about it. I don't want you to do anything. You let your conscience tell you what to do. Shut up about that conscience. That's all I've been hearing. I never mentioned the word before. You just stay away from me. Edie, I, Edie, you love me. I didn't say I didn't love you. I said, stay away from me. <laughs> I want you to say it to me. Stay away from me. Huh. Cool, thank you. Hollywood gets married. So we got kisses and we got marriage. Are these like, uh, oh yeah, they're real weddings. They're not, uh, oh, they're stage and real, it looks like. Huh. Dennis Quaid and Winona Ryder. When did they get married in a movie? Great Balls of Fire, oh, of course. Ryan O'Neill and Sybil Shepherd. Boy, did you see, we we watched that uh, that roast of Sybil Shepherd. Oh my God, that was brutal. No, it was the roast of uh, it was the roast of Bruce Willis, and they were dogging on. Oh man, they were they were ruthless with her. Janet Jackson and Eddie Murphy, Bill Hunter and Tony Collette. That's another one we haven't seen in a long time. Muriel, you're terrible. How oh, cool! Thank you. Oh, I saw Shelby drink your juice. There she is. They're blush and bashful. They're Pepto Bismol. Oh my gosh. I see more Christmas. I saw mistletoe. The Liberace Show. Stardust, Easter Parade, Maidens Wish, Samba, Liberace Concerts, come concert, Concertos for you, Concertos for you. The Warsaw Concerto, Chopin's Fantasia, The Cornish Rhapsody, Andy Griffith, Just for Laughs. These are cool. The artwork alone. 
Oh, look at that, the Sinatra family, the whole family. Wow, I just did that, uh, release that video today. Oh no, the tabloids are collected. Tina sings, Nancy sings, Frank Sinatra plays. I guess I don't think he ever sang. The Twelve Days of Christmas by the family. I wow. The family. <laughs> oh, look at that. Astrology. Horoscope for the young generation narrated by Casey Kasem. That's interesting. Will I find success? Oh, look at Troy, you're Virgo. David McCallum, Tuesday Weld, Ronnie, Ronnie Dove, Bill Medley, El Hardeen, Ingrid Bergman, Liz Ashley, James Coburn, George Maharis. Who um who who uh who has been born on your birthday? I don't know. You never followed that up? I probably at one time, I don't remember. Okay, ask me. Who was on your <laughs> birthday? Oh, interesting that you ask. <laughs> Malcolm Jamal Warner, Shelley Winters, Percy's Kambata, um, but the best ones, Roman Polanski and Vincent Bugliosi, and Winifred Chapman died on my birthday. How's that? As you do. As you do. And Captain Kangaroo, good morning, Captain. Original cast is the grandfather clock saying the grandfather clock that was Captain Kangaroo, right? Or was that Mr. Dress Up in, in Canada? That Maybe that was, up. yeah, grandfather clock must have been uh, Mr. Dress Up, which there's a new documentary I have to see about that. I loved Mr. Dress Up and the Friendly Giant growing up. Hmm. And Christmas Disco. Joy's Disco Versions of the Great Christmas Classics, Jingle Bells, oh, who? by the Mistletoe Disco Band. Sleigh Ride, which is my favorite Christmas song. Springboard International, 8295 Sunset. I'm trying to think where that would be. Oh, that's West Hollywood. Oh, that must be their offices. Okay, not the, not the recording studio. Huh, interesting. And another one, Roger Williams' Christmas songs. We went to his hometown fairly recently, Jordan and I, for the second time. These are those those candles you always put away for the year, and they came out the next year melted because they were always wrapped in, like, tissue and put in the attic, and it got, like, a 1,000 degrees. Very cool. Roger Williams and Lee and Lee, and Andy, and the Sinatras, and Disco, and Astrology, and Dinah, and Ed Wood, and Kisses, and everybody send me stuff. I love it. James Dean, Karen Carpenter, Agatha, Chris. I really, I, I love what you guys send. I really enjoy doing this. Always full of surprises, 100% surprises, and, uh, and I really enjoy it. So, and Troy enjoys it too, doesn't he? I do. Thank you for the all the stuff. Yeah. And the well wishes. Yeah. What is that I'm looking for? What are you looking for? <laughs> the handkerchief. <laughs> well, here's... Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> are somehow more interesting and exciting. That's a good feeling. So have fun with it. Think of someone's birthday, then listen to the traits and predictions given for that person. See if it works for you. Try it at a gathering. I think you and your friends will be amazed at what happens. So this is Casey Kasem saying, keep your feet in the ground and let's start reaching for the stars.